Remember, the further you carry, you got to gear it back. So, Allie, have you been practicing this for your wedding train or what? Hey, Rod, you know that saying, when you marry a girl, you marry her in-laws? Yeah. Yeah, well, Allie and her mom travel together all the time. So just something to make note of, young, young fellas, that you get two for the price of one almost. That could be scary. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Riding around in a halter. This is a really pleasant horse to watch. You're burning up your time fast, Allie. Again, Rod, I don't know if you remember like the first challenge that Allie competed at, but to see her grow as a trainer, it's just been amazing. Really, it is fun, isn't it? it yeah, is fun to it's watch been that. so fun to watch her evolution as a trainer. Yeah, this horse is a little pushy, though. Heather, did you teach it that? Are you going to try to crawl through that hole? Here we go. Good job, Alex. Just Allie. a really nice display of a nice horse. There we go. Look at that. I'll there lay we down go. All the way for you, Allie. Good job, Allie. Well nice done. Right there. Well done. Uh, look at that smile on Allie's face. Is that a big sigh of relief, Allie? It's done, thank goodness. Allie, look this way. Are you smiling? <laughs> <laughs> the bet's a big smile. That's happy right there. Good job, Allie. Oh, see, Mama Bear's got a pretty big smile on her face there, too. So, folks, the sale is going to follow directly hereafter. We're just going to get the auctioneer set up. We have the fantastic team of Perlich Brothers. They are going to be here. They have been auctioning off our livestock for years. It goes back to my uh, generation. So we're thrilled to have them. So we're going to get set up. So as soon as this last horse is done showmanship, if you do not have a bidder number, go get one. Okay? If you're wanting to bid on a horse, now is, now is the chance. As soon as this last horse is out, it's only going to take us about, I'm going to say, five minutes, and we'll be ready to go. All right. We're ready for number 10 horse. This is uh, Zeus or Axel and Caitlin. And it looks like she's going to do a little bit of liberty on us here. And liberty is always risky on a young horse like this because it either works or it don't, right? He just likes that gate. That gate, I think, means he can go home and be done. 
So she's going to get his attention here. Nothing like a horse to make you look like you didn't do your job, but we're going to get his attention here and get him hooked on and see what he'll do for her. You know, most, most Liberty horses take a long time to train, so being able to do something like this in just 60 days is quite a feat, especially when these horses know that barn is right there, and, and they're kind of done. I remember we found this at the main event, right, Rod? You could tell by the end of your session sometimes the horses were just pooped. Like, yep. mentally, they yep. were done. They're done, yeah. Yeah. They're like, you're asking a lot of me. I'm giving you a lot. Now I want a break. Yep. And poor old Axel, he might have a different name after this is over, right? Kind of kind of sounds like Axel, but. I really like this horse. This horse shows a lot of energy, really gets up underneath himself when he's stopping, moving out, really nice traveling horse. I think this horse could be the sleeper horse. You know, both of our judges up here are really eyeballing this horse, so. I'm not making eye contact. I just got some evil looks from them. But I really think, we know the bloodlines of horses like Axel. And again, we've got a junior stallion that's half brother because solid, dependable. You earn that yeah. trust and they are good to go. They will be rock stars for you. Well, thanks, Caitlin. And like I said before, you know, sometimes if you're not willing to look stupid, good things just don't happen to you, right? Like exactly. that can go either way, right? Yep. The only and way to get some really big rewards is to risk, right? right? And my hat's off to Caitlin for trying that. You Absolutely. Know, that's, Let's that's, give that's Caitlin tough. a big round of applause because she stuck her neck out today. Now, can I get my father, Jim Garner, to the ring? Because we've got some awards we need to announce. So we are going to announce the winners of the challenge prior to getting ready for auction. And while we're doing that, if I can get my arena crew, please, can we get the arena set up for the auction? Please, pylons moved in. away there trainers can I have you uh, all come out here please we'll uh, get your horses in the, if you can and bring your horses out you might as well stand with your horses please uh, just put them Hi everyone on DLMS. Just a quick reminder that you will have to close the preview screen um, and head back to the home page and open up the sale screen. Um, there is still time to get your bidding numbers for the sale. Um, so you'll just have to apply for a bidding status um, and then we will approve you on this end and we'll be ready to go. So we're just about ready to get started with the sale here in the next couple of minutes. So please close out of the preview screen and head back into the home page and open up a fresh screen with the sale.
these 10 young trainers? Absolutely. Yeah, we've enjoyed them. They've yes. done a really good job. It's Let's fun get to the, watch. The pylons out and my trainers. Can I have my trainers come into the ring? I'm just. Hurry, you guys. Bring your horse and get in there. Horses, too. They don't have to be saddled. Just bring them on in and line up. Just another reminder to everyone on DLMS that we are heading into a live auction here soon. Okay, I also like my judges out front, if at all possible, too. Here or out there? No, no, I was talking to my judges. You're just, you keep setting up the, the arena, hun. Doing good. It's the only time he ever listens to me is because there's a crowd. Mic test, mic test. I'm really quiet. Can we please give a big round of applause to our judges, Adiva Murphy and Kathy Colasar. <laughs> they have not had an easy job today. Let me tell you, there has been some, uh, some, yeah, they've had a tough, tough job. I'm glad it wasn't me. So they have compiled their results, and I will start first. We will start with third place. I've got all my trainers here. Okay. So before we do that, can I get another big round of applause for all my trainers? Well done, you guys. Well done. Okay. The runner-up for the Colts starting challenge, this is in third place, goes to Mr. Trevor Mertes on Rowdy Blue Tex. <laughs> Camera's over there. Look at the camera. You're just going to hug it out. <laughs> it's like, no, we're not hugging it out. He's too old for that. Perfect. Then in second place. Mic test. 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 Yep. Can you take that chip? <laughs> Can you take that chip down the ground, please? Down the ground. Keep it hidden, yeah. You can do it. All right. And first place in the winner of $1,500. And the grand champion for the 2019 Colt Starting Challenge is Buckskin Alley! <laughs> Again, Miss Allie, it's been a pleasure to watch you evolve in your training journey. Oh, hold on. We got to get a picture with the big check. Run it out there to him, kiddo. Dad, stay there. Hold on, Grandpa, stay there. There's a big check. We need a picture of him with her with the big check. Okay, Kiki, can you grab the big check? Allie doesn't need to try to manage the big check and a horse right now. <laughs> 